Come with me for round two of trying to see some theater in San Francisco. My hair is doing something, man. Like, what is that? It's just, it's just floofing around today. I know for a fact this is gonna annoy me like crazy during the show, but it is what it is. I've got about 15 minutes until the show begins. It's an eight minute walk, so I better get going. Shoes, keys, ready to go. Because San Fran is so crazy, I have to go through this gate to get out of my hotel every single time. So it should be up here, turn right, and walk for five minutes. I've missed, missed this. Don't know what's going on over there. Okay, two things I've learned about San Francisco in the last 24 hours. One, it's really hilly, so I'm gonna get out of breath really fast here. Exhibit A of one such hill, and <laughs> this is it. She's watching you struggle as you try and climb it. She's like, yeah, you get out of your car and you walk it, stupid. <laughs> two, this is the only city on planet Earth where there's constantly poop on the ground and I'm questioning whether it's human or if it's like a dog. And I don't know. And it's everywhere. Yeah. So I'm not 100%. I'm pretty sure that's the address. It doesn't look very theatery. I'm starting to doubt myself here. There is a homeless dude like standing wrapped in a blanket mumbling to himself in what I think the doorway is. Oh, there's like a policeman or something. I'm just gonna follow him. That's, that's gonna be really useful. Okay, I found it. Hello. I've got a ticket to pick up. Yes, for her. Okay, you're just gonna go down this okay. hallway and then up this set of stairs on your right. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Here's a set of stairs. This is cool. This really feels like I'm just going up into somebody's bedroom, but the poster's there, so must be right, right? So I am E7. So as soon as I got to my seat, I started eavesdropping on the people around me because what else are you gonna do when you're going to the theater alone? It turns out that the folks next to me, they were slightly older, they had just been looking for something to do that night and had recognized the show from the past and so decided to come along, whereas the people in front of me were, I think, Italian tourists, and they brought their, I could only guess, 10 year old daughter to see the show, which was an interesting choice, but hey, they were probably in the same situation as me, just trying to find some theater to go to, and this is what came up. So I'm just getting out of the show now and heading to a diner that is apparently nearby because it's 24 hour and I'm starving and I haven't eaten, but it was a community theater show, which I didn't realize because I bought the tickets on Todaytix and I didn't realize that Todaytix here listed community theater. I thought it was just whatever non-community theater is called. I don't know what the sort of distinction is there. So it was a community theater show. And so at the very beginning, they were like, just a reminder, like donations would be really helpful to keep this sort of thing going. And then at the end, I'm pretty confident they had a bunch of friends and family that were in the audience that came and were hugging all the cast. And it was just really wholesome, to be honest. Obviously, because it was community theatre, it meant that there were certain songs or certain moments that I didn't really know what was going on. They had some solo numbers sort of sprinkled throughout, but for the most part, there were all 16 of them on stage at all times. And it just meant that it was really quite chaotic. They were kind of falling over each other at times. But again, it's community theatre. I'm not like criticizing them at all here. I'm just saying that it meant that I still don't really fully know exactly what happens in hair, despite the fact that I've now seen hair. All right, here's my food spot. Had to wait a little while for a table, but managed to get this mac and cheese. It cost me 35 bucks, but it was damn good. Holy smokes, okay. That was way too much mac and cheese for me. I'm gonna pass away and never return. I cannot believe how cheesy that mac and cheese was. Due to the community theatre nature of the show today, I tried to actually find someone to ask about like, okay, tell me about Landmark Theatre and was unsuccessful. And there was one woman that was working at sort of like a door style position in a little booth. And I spoke to her. She was impossible to hear, first of all, because she only had like a little tiny cut out in the glass to actually speak through. But I was like, is, is Landmark always here in this venue? Do they move around? Like, how does it work? She was like, beats me. I don't know. <laughs> And I've read through the program and you've got most of the members of the tribe on the back here. This guy wasn't in today. I especially really appreciated Sam Joffe. I thought was really great at singing, really, really nice voice. Benjamin Garcia had great stage presence. They really stole your attention while they were on stage at any time and they were on most of the show. I thought they did a really great job. 
and Lindsay as well, similarly, didn't sing quite as much in solo stuff compared to some of the others, but they were great. And Miguel Velez here also ended up playing guitar on stage at one point, has a really lovely voice, a really, really deep voice, but also Miguel Velez stage managed the previous two productions that Landmark have put on and took over a cast role in Annie Warbucks, I'm assuming that's a musical or a play, when one of the original cast members got COVID, but also alongside being in hair this time around, is stage managing again. That's a multi-talented human being if ever I saw one. Overall, pretty good night. I am definitely heavily laden with mac and cheese right now. But hey, there are worse things in life to be dealing with than a full stomach. Oh, also, <laughs> I thought this was funny. At Let the Right One In, I didn't get a program. I just got this piece of paper, but I did get a ticket. Whereas at this, I didn't get a ticket, but I did get a program. The ticket was that. E7, that was my seat number. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Congrats to everyone that was in here. I thought you all did a great job. It was very fun, even if there were some moments where I didn't really have a clue what was going on. <laughs> and that most likely wraps up my theater expeditions in San Fran because I'm gonna be heading to LA in just a couple days. And there's not that much other stuff on in San Fran that I could even go to if I had more time. Like there's the... Comet of 1812 thing, but it's 50 miles away. And if I did go to that, then that would be three out of four things ticked off on Today Ticks, and the only other one that I could see there was improv comedy. So I think I've done pretty well. I've been here, what, three nights and I've been to two shows. I think that was pretty good going. In LA, there is definitely a lot more selection, as far as I can tell, at least. So if you want to see more kind of vloggy style videos like this, where I actually show you guys the theater a bit, and I talk about my experience of the day, as opposed to just focusing solely on a review, then please let me know. It's been pretty fun, sort of trying out some new content styles, and I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.